Hello, I'm Tanya Wilhelm and this is Dexter. You can see the tip of his head over here. Today what I'm going to demonstrate is working with Dexter on his fitness with two discs. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you're back, welcome. Dexter and I love seeing you back and don't forget you can always participate by commenting below. So as you probably know by now, Dexter is a 12 year old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel who also has Chiari malformation, which is a malformation in the skull which affects his movement and mobility. So one of the things that we do is we work with Dexter's veterinarian on different at home physical therapy exercises and strength building behaviors to help encourage good form, and strength and less wobbles and bobbles. So today I wanna to show you one of those exercises and how we're working on it. And as always, you wanna make sure that you're speaking with your dog's veterinarian to make sure things are safe and you're doing it at their level. And if you ever are unsure or your dog is unsure, just back off and ask your vet and say, all right, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Let's put that on hold. Don't push your dog to do something. And with any exercise, especially for our dogs and our senior dogs or mobility challenge dogs, short and sweet is the key. So Dexter, our specific at-home physical therapy exercises are, again, up to five minutes, usually around three minutes. And for us, it's not about getting that perfection and being able to say, lose gestures or not be able to lure with a cookie. For us, it's just about getting him to be able to do it and rewarding that behavior. So our goal is physical therapy, not to do freestyle dance moves. And in the description below, I'll have a lot of other information about Dexter's disease, about different physical therapy exercises, links to different products that you might wanna check out. So make sure you check out the description below for more information. So we're gonna start with two of these discs. Again, I'll find the link put it below and you can make them as sh shallow or as tall as you need for your dog right now this one they are about like that so see so that's kind of our height right now don't worry about the prickly things they actually are for your dog to feel that perception and they're not painful so they don't hurt at all and for this exercise with my camera, you're not gonna see my head, that's okay. Who do you need to see? Dexter, okay? So what I'm gonna do with Dexter is I wanna end up having his front two feet on one, his back two feet on the other to again, build that strength and that coordination. I want to ideally have it at his normal stance. So where his front legs are where they should be, his back legs are where they should be. So we're not stretched out and we're not pushed in. So if you think of Dexter as having his legs like this, right now he's compensating and he's putting his back legs in a little bit to kind of give him more stability. But we wanna strengthen that back end so they can move out to where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna be trying to do that. So we might see a little of that going on. So I need to find out first kind of where to put these things. So this is where I need to find Dexter. So I wanna take Dexter and kind of find out where that position is going to be for him. So if that's kind of his normal, so see how he's compensating and putting this leg in? I really want that leg to be kind of out where it's supposed to be. <laughs> so it looks like I have them maybe about there. So the back end here, front end here. So they will move around too. So we're going to start with moving his front feet up. That's a good boy, which is a good exercise in itself and I'm gonna help him. He needs a little help and a little guidance physically, so I'm gonna sneak my hand under here and help him come over here. Now, he did not need all that help when he was younger and more fit, but he does need that help now. So I'm gonna lure the cookie, and I'm gently kind of helping and kind of moving him here, but not forcefully, not hard. And do we see that compensation again back here? So I wanna help make that better and I'm just going to see that this is that strength going. I'm just going to try to move that foot. There we go. <laughs> and he's bringing it back. I don't want to force him into that position. There we go. Good job. So I want to kind of keep him as neutral as possible. Treating him here at his head. So I want that head as neutral as we can. 
my hands here a little bit, letting go. When I let go, that's where he's really building that strength. So he's building all this strength by keeping himself stationary. And then I want to help him get down so he doesn't jump down like a crazy monkey. Good job. Good boy. Now if your dog is able to do it, you can stand up in front and lure this way. Good job. That's a good boy. You see him trying? Good boy. That's a good job. And I want to encourage him throughout this process, not discourage him. So I'm never telling him he's wrong or anything like that. I'm just trying to help him. So I am going to physically help him again, which is fine. Now, if you're doing this strictly to teach him this behavior, and you're not really trying to do physical therapy, you're just trying to do target training, then you don't really need to do that, although it is helpful at times. I'm just going to kind of a lift. There we go. But remember, our personal goal is just that strength. Great job and that awareness. Woohoo, good boy. And as you can imagine, this is very tiring and taxing. This is going to be a hard exercise. Good job. Good boy. So I think. So look, I thought so. Okay, go ahead and get down. So do you see how these, <laughs> oh, you monkey. You see how these are touching now? So we lost that ideal stand. So I need to pull those back out again. We're gonna do one more time for the monkey. Good job. Good job. And I'm gonna help them by doing a little lift. There we go, did we get up there? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so I'm going to try to center his feet a little bit. Woo! <laughs> so I'm going to reposition him one more time. So I got in seat and I moved again. Good job, buddy. Good boy. There we go. Right up. There we go. There we go. Right there. <laughs> so I'm feeling that I'm actually needing to hold him a little more. So he's getting a little tired. Good job. So we'll go ahead. Okay. Hi, Ben. So we're going to call it done. So again, you can see that over just a few repetitions, he started to get a little more tired and his body is like, okay, I'm done. So I think that was three. He was probably on those, what, we'll to go back into the timer, what, five to ten max seconds. Um, and as he's, and again, I have to listen to him. He's like, okay, that's, that's enough. We're done with that exercise. So listen to your dog. And if it seems like the next day they're more tired and they don't really want to do anything, then we did it too long. So we need to kind of cut it back the next time. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give Dexter a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you have a Cavalier at home, check the description below. I have a private Facebook group just for you. If you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, then check out my private Patreon group. That link's below. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life and we'll see you in the next video.